want to make a million dollars? Think it's impossible? I'm a business consultant and I'll teach you the tips and tricks to make more money. Business consultants don't just tell you how to make more money. Hi, I'm Andy and I'm 30 years old. I'm a business consultant with Accenture. In my role as a business consultant, I work on two fronts. On one hand, I work as a management consultant. On the management consulting end, I advise companies on how best to achieve their goals. And this can range from developing market strategies to defining operating models, from streamlining their company operations to future-proofing their organizations in volatile environments. On the technology consulting front, I work with new and cutting-edge technologies to solve problems that companies may face. Some of the technologies we work with include blockchain, quantum computing, augmented reality, and cloud. So my task as a business consultant varies day to day depending on the projects that I work on. We typically work on one project at a time in teams as small as three to four people or as large as 50 to 100 people, depending on project scope, our client's needs, and the project duration. We meet with our clients regularly to engage with them at every step of the way. At the start of the project, we meet up with them to understand the client's objectives, understand their goals, and understand their pain points. As the project progresses, our discussions evolve into sharing feedback, sharing our viewpoints, and soliciting clients' opinions and feedback along the way. So in management consulting projects, some of these meetings may come in the form of workshops. We conduct prioritization exercises, we brainstorm with the client, and we deep dive into important topics. We also do a number of market research to better understand the landscape and the industry that our clients operate in, and what are the, some of the best practices for our clients. The last part of my job involves you know, managing my own schedule, managing my emails, and some of the internal communications on a day-to-day -day basis. My favourite part of being a business consultant is that every few months I work with a different client, I work with on a different problem or sometimes even in a totally different industry. And for me, that is extremely engaging. Every time, I'm learning new things along the way. A lot of people think that business consultants will simply just you know, instruct the, the C-suite or the board and tell them what to do and how to do things. We don't really do that. I think a big part of what we do is to co-create solutions, co-create recommendations and chart the path forward together with our clients. So it's not telling them what to do, but it's working through the problem together with them. So my journey to become a business consultant, I kind of stumbled into it. In pre-university, I did a bit of research and I realised that I didn't quite like it. I ended up talking to you know, test tubes and flask, so that wasn't quite for me. So in university, I enrolled in uh, industrial and systems engineering and business with a specialization in finance. And after graduation, uh, I got a job at Accenture. When my learning continued, I took on a good number of courses which Accenture sponsored. And that's where I got my Agile certifications, my Scrum certifications as well. Usually the minimum requirement for becoming a business consultant is a degree. And some firms like Accenture, they provide both uh, formal training as well as on-the-job learning for fresh graduates. Problem solving is extremely important for business consultants, regardless of which field you are in, regardless of which client you're consulting for. Problem solving can be done on the fly, or it can be done by referencing some frameworks. So one of my personal favourites is the who, what, when, where, why and how. Right? So I think that usually covers a lot of my bases, a lot of my considerations whenever I think through and recommend solutions for my clients. So I think adaptability is extremely important for a business consultant because we regularly uh, change our environments. Uh, we may be working on a different project, we may be working with a different client, working in a different industry altogether. So adapting to these different environments and working with different client stakeholders, communication is very important. We need to say exactly what we mean and ensure that the right messages get through to our client. And of course, communication is a two-way street. We still need to ensure that we are actually hearing our clients properly and understanding them well and then thereafter work on the solutions that's best for them. As you become a more seasoned consultant, you can then choose to specialise in a particular technology, domain or industry that you like. The advice I have for you is to explore and try new things, to experiment and to fail, because if you never try, you will never know.